Today, we're talking about money. By the beginning of last year, I decided to focus the majority of the next 12 months on my business instead of shooting videos for clients. This turned out to be one of the best decisions of my life and my channel grew from 36k to half a million subscribers until the end of the year. 500k! Which is still crazy to me. I created more and more YouTube videos of which some went completely viral, started to work with brand sponsors I always dreamed of, built my own online shop where I sell editing assets and monetized my reach in many other ways. Last year was not only the most life-changing year when it comes to the projects I realized and the places I explored, but also when it comes to the financial side of my business. While in the beginning of the year I only earned enough money to sustain the rent of my one-room apartment and my food, by the end of that year I managed to increase that income by a factor of more than 15. As I think that this video can be extremely interesting and helpful to any entrepreneurs or creators out there, I decided to give you a completely transparent look into my six different income streams and how much money I made in 2021. So, usually I don't really talk that much about finance or money on this channel, but as my goal is not only to help you pursue your passion, but also to make a living from it, I think that there are a lot of interesting topics which are worth sharing when it comes to the financial side. So you may ask yourself, Nicholas, why are you creating this video? Do you want to show off? Do you want to brag? No, I don't want to brag with how much money I make. If you've been following me and my videos for quite some time now, then you know that my intention is not to make a lot of money, but to have a positive positive impact on other people's lives. I want to share this to, to give value to you guys. And yeah, there are basically two main reasons which I hope that you guys can take away from this video. First of all, motivation. I think that this can be an incredible motivation to people who are kind of starting out and who have a lot of doubts on whether or not they're going to be able to make a living from like their passion if it is in the creative field. The second point why I create this video is the insights that you can get. I think that this can be extremely helpful for anybody starting out with their own YouTube channel and also like don't really know where exactly they should dedicate their time to because I myself started this YouTube channel back in March 2020 so a little bit more than one and a half years ago and I've been in the exact same situation where I kind of branched out and tried all sorts of different income streams in order to monetize my YouTube channel and yeah after a lot of testing I figured out what works for me and hopefully this works out for you as well and you can take something away from it so yeah with that out of the way, let's jump into the first income stream. The first income stream are freelance projects. What is a freelance project? That's basically when a client pays me for my time and my services in order to create a video for them or for their company. So that can be something like a wedding film, that can be a couple shooting, a commercial, a documentary, and so on. By the end of 2020, the year before, I actually heavily relied on freelance projects um, in order to pay my bills because I still didn't have that many views on my YouTube channel and didn't really make much money from it. When I entered 2020, 21, I really try to focus more and more of my time towards YouTube and that's why we actually only have one month where I made money from freelance projects. So if we look at the chart, then you see that only in May, I actually did a freelance project. With that project, I earned uh, $9,296. Yeah, that's basically everything when it comes to freelance projects. I enjoyed that project. It was fun to work with those other people, but I just once again realized that freelance is not the direction where I want to go because I I just want to use filmmaking for like really influencing other people and telling amazing stories and my own vision instead of telling the vision of another company or just showing something beautiful. So yeah, that's why I decided to put more and more time towards YouTube, which already brings us to the next income stream. YouTube ad revenue. So that's basically the money that YouTube pays to its creators for the ads that are shown before, during, or after the videos. And as my videos often tend to be very long, I also have mid-roll ad blocks uh, in the video itself. And that obviously also reflects uh, onto the overall ad revenue, because if more people watch ads, then obviously I get paid more. So if we look at the overall charts, then we see that in January, I earned 1,172 US dollars from ad revenue. You. And back then, for me, that was honestly really cool already because I was basically getting paid for making videos about interesting topics. Over the next few months, this amount only increased where in April, I actually made 2,291 US dollars. So basically doubled the ad revenue over a course of four months. Then in May and in June, it dropped again a little bit to around 1,600 US dollars. And then in July, everything changed because on the 
9th of June, I posted my dopamine detox video. It went completely viral. In the first two months, I made like 2 million views. And until the point of now, it actually made 5.2 million views, which is insane. It's actually insane. 5 million people watching me eat chocolate in front of my fridge. Well done. <laughs> However, this video really propelled my YouTube ad revenue into new dimensions. And with my paycheck in July, I actually made 8,552 US dollars from YouTube ad revenue. In a matter of a month, I basically increased it by a factor of five, which is insane. That's the beautiful thing about having a viral video. Uh, in August, that actually also still increased where I made 9,844 uh, because the video was still performing very well and getting a lot of views. Then in September and October, it dropped again a little bit to around 5,000 US dollars per month. And that was mainly because the dopamine detox video was just getting less views. And also I was just posting less YouTube videos because I was a little bit burnt out at that moment. And also I just had to organize everything for moving here to South Africa. That then in November, I earned 4,000 US dollars with it. And then back in December, I actually earned 8,256 US dollars. It increased again in December because when it comes to YouTube ad revenue, the RPM increases before Christmas time. The RPM means the revenue per mil. So basically the, the money you get per thousand views that like increases dramatically in December because everybody's kind of shopping for Christmas gifts and therefore a lot of advertisers want to make ads on YouTube. So yeah, all of the months combined bring us to a yearly total of 50,758 US dollars, which is insane. That's basically just YouTube ad revenue. Honestly, when, when starting to 2021, I did not expect that I would make that much money from YouTube ad revenue. But if we also just look at how much money I made only from the dopamine detox video, we see that I made 19,045 euros, which equals to around 22,473 US dollars. So that's that's almost half of my total revenue from uh, from that just like one video. I, I, I really didn't expect that I would make that much with ad revenue, but that also brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Artlist. You probably heard me talking about them before. Artlist is my favorite music licensing platform out there. And if it wasn't for Artlist, I actually wouldn't have earned a single penny from YouTube ad revenue. Yes, I would have missed $50,000 because if you use copyrighted music in your YouTube videos, you won't be able to collect any money from ads. For this reason, there are music licensing platforms like Artlist where you pay for a subscription and therefore get access to a very large royalty-free music library and also a sound effects library. I've been using their platform for the last three years and I can only recommend it. They basically have two different subscriptions. First, their personal plan for $9.99 per month, which covers the license for all sorts of social media channels, including YouTube. And then second, their unlimited plan for $16.60 per month, which covers absolutely everything from social platforms to client projects and commercial work. Honestly, if you are a creator, in my opinion, it is an absolute no brainer to get an artist subscription because even if you have a small channel and only a few monetized videos, it is going to pay for itself. So make sure to head over to the first link in the description and check out their platform. You can always start a free trial to see if you like it. And if you buy your subscription through my link, then you will get an extra two months on top of your subscription. So check that out. Let's go to the next income stream. The next income stream are affiliate sales. So that's basically the money that I receive when people buy a product or a subscription through the links that you can find in my video descriptions. Like for example, that Artlist link. So it's basically just like a small commission that I get for recommending the product or the service. And one thing which I really want to emphasize at that point is that I only, I only ever recommend you products or services if I use those myself and if I think that they can add a lot of value to the people in my community. I will never ever recommend you something which I don't 100% believe in and the same goes for my sponsors. So the ones that I use right now are Artlist, Artgrid, Motion Array, Amazon, DJI and Insta360. Unfortunately, I can't share how much exactly I made with each of these affiliate programs, but I can share how much I made in total with all of these commissions combined. In January, I earned $886 and then throughout the whole year, it's like 
like slightly increased. Uh, I made always around $1,000. Uh, in July, I actually made $2,200. That was probably also because of the dopamine detox video. And then, yeah, again, it just like kind of fluctuated a little bit. $3,153 for November and $2,300 for December. So overall, all of these months combined bring us to a year total of $18,179 from affiliate sales, which to be honest, is a very nice side income for basically just keeping these links in your descriptions. Obviously, it also really plays into the sales you make of how often you recommend those products or how often you talk about those services. But yeah, still, it is a very, very nice side income. So the fourth income stream, which is also the biggest of them all, are sponsorships. With sponsorships, I refer to the money that I receive from sponsors for integrating their brand into my content and promoting their product or service. This goes for both YouTube and Instagram, even though the budgets for YouTube are much higher and I barely did any Instagram sponsorships last year. I myself have two different types of promotions when it comes to my YouTube channel. First, a video integration, so that means that I talk for around one and a half minutes about the brand the product or the service and the second is a dedicated video which means that the whole video is based on a product or a service. I just really feel that video integrations give me more creative freedom when it comes to the stories and the topics because I don't have to base the whole video around a product. Back in January I earned a whopping zero dollars. <laughs> Hello darkness my old friend. Yeah, by the beginning of the year, um, I was just focusing a lot on creating the best possible videos. The number of sponsors reaching out to me was just like slowly increasing. At that point, I was at around like 50,000 subscribers. So for January and for February, I earned $0 with um, sponsorships. Then in March, I actually earned $6,762. In April, I earned around $15,000. As I said before, these numbers can sometimes be a bit higher for a specific month because just like sponsors paid in the same month. For May and June, it actually dropped again. May was $3,500 and June was um, $0 again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Also, because just during that time, I focused a lot on creating the best possible content and I didn't really have enough reach to, to be in contact with the sponsors, which would have been a really good fit to those videos. But then after that, in July, it just kind of like started to take off. In July, I made $11,690. August, I made $29,756, which is actually the best month of the whole year. And then for the last four months of the year, the revenue was also quite high because as my channel just really grew after the mid of the year, I was obviously also able to ask for higher budgets when it comes to those sponsorships. So if we combine all of these months, it brings us to a year total of $134,099. And honestly, like looking at this number, I can barely believe it. Honestly, like this is so much more money than I earned in all the years before. It's just insane for me. <laughs> Let's go to the next income stream. So the fifth income stream, which is definitely my favorite of them all, is my very own online shop where I sell editing assets. Basically, by the end of 2020, I decided to create an online shop where I sell assets, which are going to simplify your workflow as an editor. And that's why I just got more and more into the world of e-commerce. I uh, did an online shop for digital marketing and copywriting. I invested a lot of time into developing different products that I would find useful as an editor myself. I learned how to use Shopify and everything around it that you kind of need in order to have an online shop. And also I started my own email list, which now has more than 20,000 people in it, which is actually really, really cool. If you haven't subscribed to my email newsletter yet, um, definitely feel free to do so. You can find a link in the description. And also if you sign up through that link, then you will get a free creator pack with a lot of different assets, which are really going to improve your workflow as a filmmaker. So let's now have a look at the monthly revenues for my online shop. As we can see, the first sales came in in February because that was the month where I launched my first product, my signature presets. Basically, you can just use those things in Lightroom and with a click of a button, you will achieve the same look that I have in all of my photos on Instagram. In February, I made 1,387 US dollars, which was already really sick, to be honest, for the first product I launched. And then over the next few months, it's kind of like stayed at around 1,000 US dollars. Then in May, it dropped a little bit to around $500. And then it actually got a little bit higher 
higher, probably also because of my dopamine detox video. But then in September, that was where everything also changed there because that was the month where I launched my second product, where I launched my signature LUTs. If you don't know what my signature LUTs are, they are basically just a file that you can use in your editing software and basically really with a click of a button, you have the same color grades that I have. I use them all of the time when it comes to color grading my videos. Feel free to check them out in the description as well. And in that month, I actually made 19,539 US dollars, which was insane for a product launch for me. Such a great month. And then afterwards, October, uh, 2.8 thousand. November, again, 9,500 US dollars. That was mainly because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, basically when you're run some sort of promotions, then you will get higher sales because people want to make use of those discounts. And then in December, it was $2,637. So it brings us to an overall total of $44,149. And honestly, I am super proud of this number because everything that my online shop is, is just something that I created myself. This is not about promoting another company or creating a video for a client, but this is just a product that I developed myself, which makes me really happy that um, so many of you guys chose to support me in that way. I also got two more products in development. They're almost done. I've been working on these for the last few months. Uh, one of them is going to be my text graphics that you always see in my videos. And the second one are animated film frames. These are basically those frames that you can see here where you can just really easily integrate photos into videos. Just stay tuned for those products. They're going to drop in the next few months, hopefully. And yeah, let's go to the last income stream. So my sixth and last income stream is stock video. As I said in the beginning of my YouTube career, I really branched out and I tried all sorts of different things in order to see what works out for me in order to build a passive income. And stock video was one of those things because I just thought that if I'm already shooting all of these clips of myself doing different activities for my YouTube videos, why not just sell them online and make some money from it? And for this reason, you can now find me brushing my teeth without a shirt on sites like Shutterstock. <laughs> But hey, maybe one day I'll make it into a toothbrush commercial. <laughs> So basically I uploaded all of my clips to a platform called Blackbox, which automatically publishes those clips on the five biggest um, stock video sites. And I had a total of 1,379 clips. And trust me, that is a lot of clips. It is a lot of work to do stock videos. You have to like, select those clips, you have to color grade them, you have to render them, you have to upload them, you have to do all of the metadata with all of the titles and tags and all that stuff. It just takes a lot of time. And yeah, if we just look at the monthly revenues for stock videos, you quickly see that it didn't really pay off that much because for most of the months I made around like 100 to 300 dollars per month uh, only in January it was a little bit better because on top of my normal stock sales I also sold some clips to a client it is my lowest income source and I had a year total of 2417 dollars for this reason I also decided that I'm not going to keep uploading stock videos because it's just too much work for the money I receive in return. And there's just a lot of people who solely focus on stock video. And if you do that, you can earn a lot of money with it, but it's not something that really smoothly integrates into shooting YouTube videos. So these were all of the different income streams, but now let's actually look at the bigger picture and let's look at the yearly graphs. So if we put all of these income streams next to each other, we can see which of those was the most profitable. And it starts with the sponsorships as the highest income streams, then the YouTube ad revenue, then my online shop, then my affiliate sales, freelance projects, and last but not least, the stock videos. And then if we just add up all of the different revenue streams per month and look on a yearly scale, then we can see that there has been a dramatic increase when it comes to my monthly revenue because while I just earned $2,563 in January, my highest paying month in August was $43,202 US dollars, which is insane. And all of these months combined bring us to the overall year total, how much money I earned in 2021. And that amount is... 
258,897 US dollars, which is insane. Honestly, I don't have any words for that. This is just so much more money than I ever dreamed of. It just really shows me that it was really worth it to make that decision and to go full time this year. Obviously, I also had some expenses like, for example, filmmaking equipment, or I just bought myself the new MacBook Pro M1 Max, which is freaking expensive. <laughs> I now also have a part-time assistant, Nicole, who's doing a great job. Yeah, the overall expenses have been $39,351, which brings us to an overall net profit of $219,546 before taxes. As my business is registered in Germany, I will probably have to pay half of that amount in taxes, which is a lot. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that was a completely transparent look into my financials. As I said in the beginning, I hope that this video was able to motivate you guys to also do your own thing. I used to think for such a long time that the only way to earn money is just to work for other people and work for other companies. But as you see, it is also possible to do your own thing if you have a good idea and if you're willing to work. Um, I think last year was probably the year where I worked the most, but at the same time, it was also the year where my work was the most fun and the most fulfilling. So it is not about the money. It is about that you like your job, that you like what you're doing. And if you love what you're doing, you will become very, very good at it. And most of the time that will also come with more money. Let me know how you like this um, financial video. Let me know in the comments if you have any sort of topics you would like me to address or you would like me to talk about. That's basically everything for today. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. And and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.